this is first, I have number one to be uh, the integral uh, of what square x sine x dx. I'm going to integrate that. So what do you do here? What are the first parts? Uh, all right, let's start number one. I have that the integral of cos square x, let's talk, sine x dx. I'm going to integrate this. So uh, obviously, uh, for this case here, I can apply general method that I don't add up the power. I don't want to work with the power now. I can apply general method here. Obviously, the only two methods I can apply here is what? Substitution method and what? Integration of my parts. But uh, for this case here, the best way to go to solve this one is what? Substitution method, right? As we discussed in the previous class, right? So, how do you now solve this? Now, I've only seen this thing and I'll show it again. Differentiation is plain, right? If you're giving a question, you know what to do. That, 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 they're going to use uh, not true, quotient true, you, you know what to do. But integration is not plain, right? So, for this case here now, my fact is that um, I'm going to make a um, call. Now, listen. My fact is that I'll make something. Uh, I'll make something u here. I'm going to make cos square x u or cos x as u or sine x as u. Which one will be u? So, my first fact is that let u to be what the cos x. So, let u to be what the cos x. X. Now, if you use cos x, of course, if I differentiate both sides, I'll have that. If I differentiate uh, u with what? Let's to x. I'll have the u over the x. It's equal to what? If I differentiate cos x, I'll have what? Minus sine x. I have this. Right? So if I differentiate cos, cos x, I'll have what? Minus sine x. Of course, make the, make the x, the solid formula here, I'll have that, first is first, the x, multiply this, I'm, I'm having what? The u to be equal to minus sine x dx. Next up, make the x, the solid formula here, I'll have it as, um, I'll have it as what the, the number of what? Sine minus sine x. So I'll have, uh, divide by minus sine x. So I'll have the u over minus sine x is equal to minus sine um, sine x dx all over minus sine x. Of course, this cancels this. Let's put the x is equal to the u all over. In mathematics, it's not correct. Of a half, it's not proper to put negative as the denominator. So take it up here. I have minus here. Let's go sine x, right? I have sine x here. Now at this point, substituting, I have that uh, the integral, the integral of what? Cos, cos, cos x alone was u. So I have u all squared. Listen, cos x alone was u. I have u. Next up, I'm seeing a square. I have square here. I'm seeing sine x, which is this. Next up, dx now is what? Minus uh, dot dx. This is dx alone is what? Minus du all over what then? Sine x again, right? Of course, sine x comes out sine x. I'm going to put the integral u squared, next up, dot minus the u. Of course, pick out minus after the integral sign. I have minus the integral uh, of this uh, u squared, next up, the u. If I integrate u squared from the concept of general method of integration, I have minus into u, and I can see 2 here, 2 plus 1, all of our full of the power here, 2 plus 1, as this, left of plus c. This concept was for what? The general method of integration, which we have discussed in the first class, right? So, add 1 to the power, and whatever you add at the power, put 
put down, so I have it at this point. So I have minus e to the power 3 all over 3 plus c. But, but u was what? What was u? u was cos x. I have cos x. So put the value of u as cos x here. I have minus a to minus um, cos perhaps cube x as the case may be, or cos x cube, in this case, right, all over 3 plus c as my answer um, for this part here. So my final answer becomes minus cos x cube all over 3 plus c. So of course, uh, for this one here, for this one here, I will make u to what to be one side um, x because it has the highest power here. Of course, the highest here was um, was uh, squared here. Cos x and sin x. The one that has higher power was cos x. That's why the rate of x was u here. Yeah. So in this case here, I'll make u to what side sin uh, x, right? So this case here, I will make u to what side side uh, sin x, right? So and um, so so number two, you uh, get to show number two. I'll drop your answer in the comment section below. So I'll do three for you now. So let's do three. So doing three. All right. Doing three. Let's do three. All right. Let's do problem three. I have uh, the integral of minus cos x all over sine x plus 5 sine x plus 5 next of the x so what will I make um, the value of u here of course if I make um, oh, sorry I have cos of course if I make the numerator u this is yes, I did if I make this one u listen if I make this one u if I make this cos x, I will have the um, sine, minus sine x, I mean. Of course, in that case here, if I make this man here, I will have minus sine x, right? Such that, if you cancel out, such that, if I have minus sine x, let's suppose I have minus sine x here, it can never cancel out sine x plus 5. Mm -hmm. this, this, this is a term. Yeah. Alright, now listen, listen. We said, if I make u to be cos x, Finally, I want the minus sin x. If I put minus sin x here, minus sin x cannot cancel out sin x plus 5. So I can't use this one as u. Hence, the value I use as u are what sin x plus 5. So let u to be equal to what the sin x plus 5. The project u with respect to x, I'll have the u over the x is equal to what the cos x. If I take sin x, I have the cos x. If I take plus 5, I have the 0 constant term of. So at this point, make the x, this sort of formula, just swap it. I'll swap this one here. I'll have that the x is equal to the u over cos x. Right? Just swap this one. Take this one here. Take this one here. I have that the x is equal to what the, the u over this one comes in half of x. At this point here, substituting, so I have that the integral of what the minus cos x all over, um, sorry, we just said sin x plus 5 to what the 3 u. So all over u plus the x was what? The u. All right. Um, the x, uh, perhaps the x here, the what it was the u all over what the cos x. Of course, cos x cos plus what the cos x left it was the integral minus uh, one all over u. Next up, dot um, the u. Now listen. When it comes to um, integration, it's simply the one, the reverse of what the differentiation. Note that if I have, for differentiation, if I have y is equal 
equal to in x. The y uh, over the x is what then? 1 over x. Now, before, if I write if I write two numbers, if I integrate um, 1 over x, or I have the in x. So it's like the reverse. So if I integrate um, uh, uh, if I integrate 1 over x, I will have the in x. Now at this point, uh, if I integrate 1 over u, I have the lin u. So that becomes um, minus lin u left of um, plus c. Of course, u, what we said u was what? Uh, sine x plus what then? Plus 5. Put this value, put this value here. I have minus lin u was what? Sine x plus 5. I have sine x plus 5. Rest of plus c. The constant of integration. So this how to solve um, this problem. This is the concept of substitution of integration. Alright.